they have exceeded the number. The, the law requires that, they, you know, statistically, if it is 116 point, we call it 116. If it is 233 point, we call it 233. So the, they have the 116 that already is gotten. They'll easily get the 233. They will easily get the 44 in the Senate. Uh, uh, but the, the impeachment process is as legal as it, as it is political because it is anchored in the Constitution in Article 150. Now, the Deputy President will go to High Court. Take around six months. Even if the High Court decides against him, he goes to Supreme Court. Another like six months. Even if Supreme, uh, Court of Appeal, I mean, decides against him, he goes to Supreme Court because this is a matter of national importance. Uh, and then we have a Deputy President who is on the corridors of justice for a whole one year and a half. And he's either let off the hook or condemned when we are counting months to elections. Mm -hmm. I, I can tell you for a fact, for self-aggrandizement, uh, this sounds like a very good thing. Uh, for show of might, it's, it's a very good thing. We want to show regard that we have the numbers, we can silence him. But I can tell you the political uh, repercussions of, of this move is grave. For, for Kenya Kwanzaa, it would be easier if the deputy president just threw in the towel and said, okay. No, he's not going to. Uh -huh. Because to, to prove something in the court of public opinion is very easy. Because you just weep emotions. Now, when it comes to prove the same in a court of law where you have a sober judge who asks you a, a question, the threshold is gross misconduct, gross violation, and serious reasons. Now, the judge will tell us what is the threshold of serious reasons to imagine, uh, that, to think that somebody has committed a crime. What is the threshold for gross violation of uh, articles of the Constitution? You know, gross is not just violation. What is the threshold of gross misconduct of a state officer? Mm -hmm. You may prove violations, misconduct, reasons. But are they serious enough mm -hmm. to warrant the removal? Are they gross enough to warrant the removal? Now, th that part of answering those questions is where uh, the, the, the whole bit of the matter lies. Okay. B because when you have somebody for a whole year plus in a court of law with jargons, with us trying to answer those three questions, and again, it is also good to remind the, the, the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, movers of this motion that in Kenya, our political figureheads are, are not just people who holds titles. They are our representative to the table where the national cake is shared. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is them that we expect will come back home with a piece for us to eat. Th there is a reason why Mount Kenya has developed more than Nyanza. It's simply because Mount Kenya has been in all the successive governments and Nyanza has always been out. Mm -hmm. So whenever there was a cake being shared, there, there was somebody to take home to the people of Mount Kenya their piece of the cake, while there wasn't one to take home a, a piece of cake fro, from Nyanza. So, so Mount Kenya developed, and it is a fact we have to align ourselves with, because it is what has bequeathed us the devolution in us trying to say, ah, these people have been left behind so much, and the reason is because they lack somebody to represent them. Let us bring money closer to them so that they don't have to send somebody to Nairobi to bring them something. Now,